The United Township Panthers are looking to move from sweet to elite, as in moving out of the sweet 16 and into the elite eight. In the way in the 2A sectional championship is a battle-tested Caneland Knight squad. It's the Caneland Knights cutting through the chilly air at Roscoe Eads Stadium as Tyler Siebert creates space, draws in the defense, and he scores for the early 1-0 lead. But the UT Panther offensive attack is on fire early on as well. Mama Baugh shows great athleticism, good speed, and that powerful right leg as this game is tied up at one. The UT defense locking in. That's Mitchell Schneider coming up with the save as he did time and time again. And the UT Panthers regain the lead still in the first half. On the restart, Dustin Bartz with the laser beam into the back of the net, and UT leads 2-1. to one. But Kainlin bounces back on a bit of a fluky play. A crazy bounce actually goes off Bartz and into the goal. It's 2-2 heading into the second half of play, and UT's defense is on lockdown. Schneider coming up with another great save. UT on the attack now, trying to punch it in and trying to avoid overtime. Claudio Barbosa with a great shot on goal, but the keeper from Caneland does the job as this game goes to overtime. And just a minute and a half into the first extra period, it's Drew Meredith on the restart. He blasts it in, and the Panthers have a 3-2 lead, but they have the matter of about 18 and a half minutes of defense and some scary moments in the final seconds, but the Panthers get it done as they shut down Caneland in the overtimes and the UT Panthers win 3-2 to two to advance on to super sectional play. And we knew obviously we were one goal in the lead with, uh, like you said, 18 minutes left and I mean at that point you just you just got to give it everything, everything you got. It's all about heart at that point and, and we, uh, we did it and we pulled through and we ended up with the win. How meaningful is it to go on to the Elite Eight uh, the way you had to do it against a really good team and uh, guys that just, you know, chest to chest and, uh, like you said, it came down to heart? I mean, it, it's unbelievable. Our team, UT, hasn't been there since 99. And for us, uh, our core group of seniors have been together for 13 years. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a great feeling knowing that our team can make it this far and hopefully even farther. People had such high expectations from day one. What has been uh, able to sustain you guys as a really good team? Because, I mean, there, there was a lot of great expectations since uh, the beginning of the year. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to live up to to what the expectations are, and, and it's it's great being able to do that. And uh, we're, we're just really putting in hard, eff uh, hard work and lots of effort, and uh, we're, get we're getting what we want. What's next as you guys prepare for the Super Sectional? What do you think the, the team's mindset's going to be in the focus if uh, you know take that next step? Um, I, I think the, uh, the competition's going to be higher, significantly higher, and uh, we all know that we need to step it up as a team, each person. And then as a team, and uh, I know I know we got the talent, we got the hard work, and we got the heart to uh, to pull out and win. What's it like for you? You know, when you see zeros on the board, two two, and uh, your your career as a you know as a high school player is uh, you know in the balance. Well, uh, it's unbelievable um, being able to get that last goal. Um, just a great surge of uh, excitement and and pride, and uh, being able to get that that goal for the team and and for the school even. It was just awesome. For me, it's a real relief because I scored on ourselves. And uh, if we would have lost, I would have put like, a lot of pressure on myself and took a lot of responsibility for it. But they came back and uh, didn't let me down, and it was a great feeling. Talk about, too, I mean, you guys have had, people have had high expectations for this team all season long. I mean, how have you guys been able to sustain that yet, uh, at a really high level? I mean, 21 wins now. We, everyone knows each other so well. Um, we play travel together. We played since we were U8, U9 together on pretty much the same team. Almost every kid here. We play in the winter together. Like we're together like year round, and we just have like a really great bond. Another step, and uh, you know uh, the team you get is going to be another, at another level too. How how much fun is that part? That you know what you're going to get stretched in great ways at every step you make in this tournament. Uh, I think we're all looking forward. I think we all want to go as far as we can, and. We know sooner or later we're going to come across a tough team, and it's going to be a fun challenge, and hopefully we can overcome it and win. Mm -hmm. Talk about, too, I mean, you, got, you had two forwards kind of limping out there in the second half, too. I mean, that kind of, kind of speaks to overcoming adversity, too. Yeah, uh, two of our three leading goal scorers were out tonight, pretty much. They were there, but Mamadou got an early goal, and then he got hurt, and then they 
couldn't do much the rest of the game, but it was nice to have everyone else come together. Mm -hmm. How meaningful is it to live through moments like this? I mean, in your young life, I mean, where does this fit in? These, the feelings, they'll, they'll last forever. When we're older, we'll look back and we'll see, if we go back to UT, we'll see a plaque on the wall or in the little room that we have. Like, we have regional plaques on the wall that we can see already at school on a daily basis, and it's, it's awesome. Uh, I just try to keep us in. I know I had a few mistakes early, and I just wanted to capitalize in the end. Mm -hmm. Talk about what has sustained this team over the long haul. Everybody had great expectations for you guys, and you've, you've maintained it all year long. Yeah, I mean, uh, we just keep on. We know we want to practice the next day, and we just play our hearts out until the final whistle. What's the message between now and the super sectional? You guys going to be focused on what, do you think? Uh, we're just going to be focused on uh, trying to keep our energy high and just keep them focused the whole game. What do you love about this team beyond the soccer part of it? Just the pasta parties and everything, just hanging out, playing FIFA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where does this fit into your young life, too, you know, that these moments? I mean, how enduring and, the, I mean, how much are you going to look back on these? Evenings? I mean, we haven't won states since 13 years. I mean, we're just trying to, you know, go as far as we can because we know we're a great squad. You know, when you end up winning a game 3-2 to two and uh, win it in overtime after being, you know, tied at 2-2, two, two, kind of like the Geneseo <laughs> Regional <laughs> Final all over again. But, uh, you know, I think we made, uh, again, another little bit of a halt for ourselves. We didn't communicate too well on either goal, especially the second goal, you know, which... Uh, he made it hard going, you know, we got ourselves back in front after being a goal behind up to 2-1 and then an own goal obviously put Kane Lamb back in, in contention. But, uh, you know, the guys played hard against a team that really, you know, moved the ball well across the field. They made us chase from side to side, but uh, not too much penetration. It caused too many problems as the game went further and further on. Um, Big concern for me was the number of rotations they had to make because of injuries, and uh, that was the same thing the other night. You know, when we played, uh, and that was where we picked the injuries up in the first place. So we were um, carrying a few knocks, and uh, it's nice to see us get through. And uh, <laughs> nice to get through, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll have those guys healthy by. You know, by Tuesday, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think Ryan, Mamadou struggling, got a couple of cracks on the ankle. But uh, you know, players like Austin Blair are usually, you know, not seen as much time here. Yeah. Came up big for us, and uh, all the guys that did come in tonight played their part. And um, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, mm -hmm. does it? You know. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, you know, it's been a long time. 99's a long time since I last went to the dance. So. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, we can get through this super sectional and look forward to another appearance at state. Mm -hmm. When you got the 3-2 lead early in OT, I mean, the whole thing was you still had 18 minutes to defend, too. I mean, uh, and they, right. they seemed to lock in. They didn't go soft at all. Yeah, we, we, you know, we've got, we're the same with Geneseo. We realize over time it goes, runs off pretty quickly. You don't need to be doing anything stupid. Uh, we've got a bit of a, a, a system, if you want to call that, as to how to play once we go up in overtime. I mean, you know, we don't uh, want to be chasing lost causes, but we do want to get the ball deep down into the corners and run a little bit extra time off the clock without kind of exhausting ourselves too much. So, you know, the boys buoy into that and, um, you know, they defended their lines really well. Got a little scary in the last 10 or 15 seconds, but, uh, you know, what would it be if it wasn't that exciting, you know? So, you know, just just overall just 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 pleased the way the whole game eventually panned out and and how solid we uh stood to the test in overtime after we scored that goal